the yog. Almost here. It's almost here. <laughs> Miss Drury, on a week, where do you want to go? Oh, what, what else can we do? I'm, I'm looking at finesse and physique. We'll go to the... We'll, we'll go... No, no, we'll go to the forest. See, the see forest. what happens there for the last week. Find a week. Chuck, what are you going to hunt? Um... going to... Chop wood. Chop wood. You spend the week cutting down trees. You get two physique and you need yourself one. One day, you stumble into a nicely tree oh, in the middle of the woods. We know this. You sit and eat your lunch in front of the edge. Wondering exactly what he's so going to be doing out in the woods. Okay. Suddenly, an enormous hand erupts. No, no, I've, I've, I've got, I've got finesse. I've got finesse. Dodge We're it. gonna dodge it. You we'll gonna dodge it. We're gonna dodge it. You reflex is like to duck. Just it, just out of his grasp. You run faster than you ever run in your life. You gain two physique. Woo. I'll tell you that. I'm a seventeen yep. physique. Right, seventeen charm bitches. How are we gonna do this? Uh, uh, charm. Uh, I'd say, somewhere. I'd say tavern. Go drink. I'm gonna just go. Uh, this <laughs> tavern bar. You're gonna bar, you're gonna bar keep in the final week? Alright, I'll have enough. We're gonna die drink, soon, drink anyway. Let's drink. You drink? Get drunk! You spend the entire weekend getting wasted. Woo! Look at that. Flag. Yeah, that nice. is a nice flag. You gain two charm and one physique. Nice. One day, while in tavern, a heated uh, argument erupts between two patrons. Charm. Soon enough, fists are flying and everybody seems to be joining in the fights. Join the fray. Break up the fight, I've got charm. He's got charm. He's gonna break up the fight. Charmer. You jump on top of the table and yell a plea for the patrons to stop all the violence. Before you know it, everybody is calmed down oh, and chatted to one. Like nothing man. ever happened. Thanks for that, says the barkeep. While slipping you a small sack of coins, you gain one month. Yeah. Nice. Miss Lady? Your uh, mind and wealth. Okay. What? What? Uh, meditate? Yeah, that you've got to do to your mind. You spend the week in deep meditation. You just love to sleep. <laughs> you gain oh. one magic and two minds. One day, a toothless old woman approaches you. I have a small pouch of magic beans. Taylor, eat them. Pick them out. Of course yeah. I would. Okay, so you now down to nine words. <laughs> wow. Not what a double figures figure. anymore. You spell. spell you answer. spend one wealth on the beans. Later, you decide to plant them in a small, rarely visited part of the garden. Okay. Quickly. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I want to go there. I want to go there. Fight crime. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, I want to go to the alchemy tower. Can you go to the alchemy tower? We haven't actually blown up anything much yet. Oh, man, there's the apartment palace. We didn't blow that up somewhere else. I'm doing that clean now. <laughs> so you decide to stick your routine. What, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to? I can't clean oh. the world. What, what are you trying to up on your on your staff? I'm trying to clean the world. You're just trying to cleanse the world. Is that self? I'm cleaning the world. You spend the week cleaning up noxious chemicals. You paid one well for your labour and gained one physique and one magic. Over the course of the week, you notice more. You notice yourself growing more spiral-shaped sores all over your body. One day, the sores begin to glow a vibrant blue. You feel your magical power. Grow even stronger while your mind slips further and further. You gain three magic, you lose three mind. In okay. no time, the swords are going so bright that they hurt to look at. Someone rushes up to you and asks if you're alright. When you glance, you set him up. Oh, wow. Uh oh. Just kidding people. Just, you just look at people and they're so convulsed. You then let out a scream that shakes the earth and shatters the skulls of all nearby. A river of blood. Coats around as you walk about, what? reveling in your destruction. Oh, oh, no. You black out. You dick! When you come to, you're at home in your bed. This is like ground floor. Mate. Doesn't matter what you do, you just wake up. Yeah. Your sores have faded, and you feel like this disease is symptoms have passed. The storm arrives in the night. By the morning, it still rages. The three old days, the tempest bounces through the night, drowns us. But in the end, we see the graveyard our home has become our home. Does anything yet to live? Is it? Are we? Time to choose your roles. Oh, Miss Drury, with 17 physique, 12 finesse, 8 mind, 6 charm, 7 magic, and 4 wealth. Uh, what's, what's my mind again? Your mind is 8. 
Um, I really want to go smelt, but we'll go builder just to be safe. Give me builder. I don't know what I don't know whether I need mind or like uh, intelligence. Okay, you take anyway. it upon yourself to help rebuild the town by hand. You rebuild home at breakneck yeah. speed, impressing the rest of the survivors. This helps the rebuilding rebuilding efforts. Well, I've got to be the leader, though. Like, not you, my charm. You yeah, never, look you at never charm. You could, be you, you could go like last time and just. Fucking brother. Please don't. Uh, come don't on, yeah. No. Come no on, you hear me, Ash? Think charming of guy. the town. I, I, I am so charming. The town's children! Peer pressure. Peer pressure. I, I could pretend to be drunk. Make everyone happy. Exactly. Exactly. Town drunkness. Town drunk, come on. Nah, I mean. I mean leader. You bitches will follow me to the end. <laughs> you take it upon yourself to be leader of the survivors. You're so incredibly charming. Yeah. Everyone in red and me that should guide them. You're not the brighter of it, and oh. aren't terribly efficient with organising everything. Okay. Still, having a charismatic leader helps out the rebuilding. There you go, guys. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> right. Lady? I don't know what to do. Uh, you've got Don't 8 physique, work. 8 finesse, 12 mind, 8 charm, 6 magic. Help uh, mind up. I'm sure. Um, doctor? Because you have to be quite smart to be doctor. Go with that. Do so, doctor? Yeah. First time seeing doctor. Oh. You take it upon yourself to help the sick and injured from your. You're able to fix up most of the patients in no time at all. This means there are a lot more people to help with the rebuilding town. This helps the survival effort considerably. Nice. And to make quiffy. No, so uh, you've got 9 physique, 6 oh, finesse, 4 mind, 5 charm, 12 magic, and 7 wealth. A smart player would be a conjurer. Well, me. <laughs> yeah, but you're, you're really magic. And Connor, Connor, Connor missed out on his chance of being town drunk. <laughs> give us so, a con do you, conjure you, then with your magic. Oh, oh, that's yeah. insane. That's the obvious. Mm. I know. Well, actually, a nice ending. <laughs> what you can do to up what Abby that. wants. Do we go with what Abby wants, or do we not follow peer pressure? <laughs> you say that when you can try and make a drink for the whole of this. No, I'll, I'll be I'll be the, let's conjure it. You gonna be the conjure? You take it upon yourself to help conjure up the town, the supplies of the town. With your magic, you summon supplies of the oh, yeah. highest caliber. Yeah. With little effort, you're summoning high quality lumber and food from out of the moment. Nice. This helps the rebuilding effort significantly. Oh, there you go. And so, we set about our tasks, once more living our lives. This time, in a way, we might never have expected, or even wanted, to in the end. We flourish! Woo! 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 Okay, guys! Woo! Towers once wrecked the gravity. Rose towards the sky. The trees again took the wind. They blossomed. We all blossomed. Yeah, a bit of flowers. Oh. <laughs> and through it, we took a long while. And through it, we took a lot of us. But our future is bright. Should the yard ever return, we will be ready. Oh, yeah, isn't that yeah. nice? Yeah. Just yeah. a little bit. The other one just had like a half destroyed out of yeah. the town. Yeah. Like, last game did solve the kit. Destroy the other one. Oh, yeah. Abby was there all the time. I think it was Connor. Oh, here we go. After the town is rebuilt, you become the leader of a hunting force. Yeah! Well done, Nick Drury! Oh, damn right. Sure. You become the town's main supplier of game meat and birds. <laughs> okay. You become oh, extremely <laughs> adept at killing <laughs> defenseless <laughs> birds. Wow! You, could, you couldn't kill like a bear or something? <laughs> Just no, are we going to kill this rat or Yeah, I, I, am, I am the it's best squirrel awesome. hunter in all the land. One day you spot a glowing blue fox in the woods. What's his roots? Oh, what's he saying? Good. He, please don't kill him. <laughs> Upon seeing you, it cackles and runs off. Challenge. You pursue it for what seems like hours, but to no avail. Capturing the laughing fox becomes an obsession for you. Man. You spend every moment what thinking of this? Of star, even while you sleep. It cackles. It cackles feels as if it's burned into your brain. So there you go, that's crazy. Wow, that what? Oh you no! Say that? Oh god, let's see what happened to oh, Derek. Crazy. <laughs> You're traumatized you deeply. Despite everything being okay now, something in you snapped. Derek, Maybe why? it was witnessing a baby floating face down oh, there. Oh god! Oh god! God! <laughs> Maybe it was when you found a man skewered on a fence, still scrumming slowly. His oh, eyes were empty. Perhaps it's when you saw a group of kids that were trapped in the school and resorted to eating their rotting teacher's corpse. Oh, this is happy ending. Oh. This is a really happy ending. 
So you flourish, but you're all monsters. <laughs> Whatever it was, you can't help but drink. Oh, okay. <laughs> you drink so much, you're not entirely sure what is real and what's an illusion. One day, you look into a mirror and your eyes are empty. Hollow. Oh, no. Yeah. Maybe, oh, that, that looks really lovely. It's like it's with the town we built, we decided to celebrate. We organised a huge festival in honour of the bravery that helped save so many lives. The first one is so successful, we decided to make it an annual event. <laughs> every year, the festival gets bigger and more elaborate, and every year it costs more and more money <laughs> to put on. Go. You have to start changing, charging admission, which no one is happy about. The annual festival is slowly fades out of relevance before long it's cancelled completely. Wow. You don't really know what to do in your life after all that. Oh, God. These Come endings are a bit... Well, it's not <laughs> <laughs> Your life after you all is uneventful. You work, you get married, you adopt a child, you take care of that child, you get old, you retire. You go on a vacation for a Get too old to be independent. A child take care of you. You die. Oh, there you go. Dang it. Nice. Well, that was. We did it so well, and then all of our endings were kind of. The world is a bit fucked up. I think I don't think anyone had much mind, so. So it seems may that, have. It seems that you know, if you go for like a nice, happy, you know, we we made everything better. It's just like yeah.